Hey everyone, it's Ray. Before we begin today's episode, I just have a quick but important announcement to make. I am changing my channel name to Mira Ray, and this is because some Tastical Simmer is just too long. It's too long to fit onto my origin ID, and I just don't want to limit myself to just Sims videos as well. I will want to probably post other video game videos in the future, um, and I might not want that to just be Sims related. If you're watching this, like, when way after it's been posted and have no idea what I'm talking about, then just ignore what I'm saying. But for those of you who do know what I'm talking about and are seeing this just as it's being posted, I'm gonna wait a day or two before I change my name, just so people are kind of aware before we post anything. You guys can refer to me as Mira Ray, you guys can refer to me as Ray, either one works. But anyway, with that, let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So today we're starting with the royal family of Oasis Springs. A few of you had asked us to have have the family have another child because uh, some of you guys have names in mind and this is probably like we're getting towards the end of the royal families having kids. Uh, I think they're like pretty much the last of them. The only ones really left are uh, Princess Anna and I don't even know, I mean, it doesn't look like she's going to marry a king or anything. Uh, so this would be like the last royal child unless there's a surprise and some other sim of the royal families have another child. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, we're gonna try for one more. Um, and then the first person, there's one person, one of our viewers that had uh, suggested a name that I promised I would name them now. Any other suggestions will just go to other babies in the future. Um, so yeah, so why don't we just try to get Lady Lindsay and Prince Age? Oh my gosh, not Lady Lindsay. Princess Lindsay, I am never going to stop saying that. It's going to be stuck in my head forever, even when she becomes queen. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try for a baby with Prince Adrian. And I forgot to show you guys. So Princess Naya, she grew up into a toddler. It's a little dark over here, so I don't know if you can see. Um, but she grew up into a toddler and she's super cute. Um, and also for those of you who don't know, so I did get a new laptop. If you can't tell by how much better the uh, graphics are and how smooth everything is running. So I have not had a chance to look for custom content yet, or um, I actually downloaded the MCCC one, the master control center, whatever mod. Um, so I, I just haven't enabled mods on here yet because I wanted to have like an episode just dedicated to the mods and the custom content. So that will probably be the next episode because what I'm probably going to do after I finish filming this is just spend all night looking for custom content. Um, and I may do it like at work tomorrow too. So I'm going to go ahead and just look for custom content. And then hopefully the next episode will just be like a custom content haul, like a royal custom content haul. And what I'm most looking forward to is toddler custom content because it's so limited. And we just have so many toddlers right now that I'm like reusing all of the same outfits. It's ridiculous. So I had a hard time picking something out for Princess Naya, but I figured I would be getting more custom content soon and I can just change her clothes later. So we're definitely going to do that. But she's super cute. She looks uh, definitely like her father, not like Lady Lindsay at all. I have a feeling that Prince Francis might look like Lady Lindsay or Princess Lindsay, oh my goodness. Uh, he might look like Princess Lindsay just because I noticed when they were both babies, his skin is lighter than Princess Naya's was. Um, but yeah, oh, okay, I didn't even check if Princess, Princess Lindsay um, and Prince Adrian had their baby. So where is a toilet? All right, right here. Um, oh, wait, no, I guess they didn't try for the baby. I didn't see the option to take a pregnancy test on there. Wait, change outfit, no. All right, try for baby with Prince Adrian. So we want to have three children. There are so many kids right now. I just, I don't even know like what to do anymore besides like have babies, grow up babies. Cause I have the Sims lifespan on long just because if it was shorter, it would be too short for me. Um, I wouldn't feel like I would have enough time with the family. So it's gonna be a while before the kids grow up, guys. Like, 
definitely going to be some time. Honestly, they're a little bit more interesting when they're kids and teenagers, um, but I still like it when they're toddlers, especially if I'm going to get a bunch of custom content for them. I want to be able to use it. Uh, so yeah, but it's nice that they get to spend more time with their grandparents because of course the past king and queen, King George and Queen Isabel of Windenburg passed away. So those kids don't get to spend time with their grandparents, but uh, the Oasis Springs royal family and the Willow Creek royal family, those reigning kings and queens are still living, so they get to spend time with their grandchildren. So that's nice, at least, because Princess Naya is talking to Queen Arya right now. Queen Arya seems like she's so happy to have grandkids. Oh, and she needs to use the restroom, so we're gonna have to leave Princess Naya for a bit, so use that. Um, and then, looks like, oh, they are still woohooing. What is King Eason up to? He is just, what are you doing? Chatting with the paparazzi? I guess. Okay, so it looks like they are done trying for their baby. So we're going to go ahead and have her take a pregnancy test. So we can see if she is pregnant with her third child. Okay. Oh, yay! It looks like we're pregnant again! <gasps> yay! Eating for two. Oh, okay. That was, like, so easy. Um, so, she is pregnant with her third child. Um, so, I'm super excited that we're going to have another royal baby. They are definitely, like, a little bit behind the pack because um, everyone else is kind of, like, done having babies. Someone said that they wanted Princess Cora to have more babies, which, like, I guess that would be fine. Like four babies, I guess, is, is is normal. We've had royal families with four babies in the past, but it's just like, it's so much. And what if she has twins or triplets again? I'm going to feel so bad for Princess Cora. She's just going to have like way too many kids. Um, it looks like we need to change Prince Francis's diaper. Um, so yeah, so we have tried for a baby. Oh my gosh. Wait, who is this? Does that come with the... I didn't know that came with it. That's so interesting. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we have tried for a baby. So another thing I wanted to do is get a dog for the royal family of Brindleton Bay. Um, a lot of you guys were saying that we should get like, I think it was a husky, a def like a corgi was another one. Someone wants us to make bubbles, but they were saying that for the royal family of Windenburg. I think I'm going to keep the dog at the Brindleton Bay Palace just because like they, well, I don't know. Well, I guess we could have a dog. Uh, someone wants us to make Bubbles, who is right here next to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him up. He got a haircut. Oh, he was sleeping on my lap right here. So someone wants us to make, make, oh, make bubbles. Yeah. Someone wants us to make bubbles, um, and have him in the game. So we could also do that. I just, I think I would get way too emotional if he died though. Um, but then someone else wants us to have a legacy challenge, uh, with me and Jake. Um, so I think that maybe we'll save bubbles. If we are going to have a dog, we'll save bubbles for that challenge just because it makes more sense. Cause Jake, uh, and I actually own bubbles. Um, so I think maybe. We'll get a, I don't know. Well, why don't I see what is available to adopt right now? Um, so we're going to go to the computer and, oh, we should probably pay our bills, but we are going to adopt a, can you do that through the computer? Web. Um, oh man, I, I clearly have not really done this before. <laughs> how would you adopt the child? Would you do that? That would, you would do the household. Oh, right? Yeah, adopt. Uh, adopt dog. Yes. So we want to see what is available to adopt a dog. Um, and also Prince James is also a toddler now. So we have, uh, just toddlers in this house now. I should probably get rid of their bassinets. Um, okay. Ooh, wow, there's a lot. Ratchet. Oh my gosh, ratchet. Ah! <laughs> okay what do they tell you bird oh they do tell you what kind they are shetland sheep 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 dog that's one that seems like close to kind of what i was looking for english foxhound black and tan coonhound 
Uh, a Shih Tzu. Oh, I love Shih Tzus. Um, okay. Uh, Dash Hound, Italian Greyhound, Smooth Fox Terrier, a Shetland Sheepdog. Hmm. These, these aren't like really, oh, Sharpe. These aren't really what I was looking for. Um, but, but I, I think they would have more than one dog. So I feel like the Shetland Sheep sheep oh my gosh I can't say it the Shetland sheepdog would be the most relevant option I guess that's the word I think we might end up going with is it a him yeah with him so oh we could pick up to three dogs oh my gosh bubbles oh sorry he's just like on my arm uh or a dash hound oh a dash hound would be cute too named cinnamon that I feel like that would, they would get a dash hound too, or the Shetland Sheep. Mm, okay, I'm sorry. I'm taking way too long with this. Let's go with, okay, what's her name though? Cinnamon. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, he like, the laser wolf dog, the Shetland Sheep dog looks too much like a corgi and I want a corgi too. Uh, so we're going to start with the dash hound and get, I just want to make sure this is the one we definitely want. English fox hound, uh, Bernice hound dog. Yeah. Okay. That's the one we want. So, and I like the name Cinnamon. I think we're going to keep that. So we need to definitely purchase some pet supplies. Uh, so bring King Jared Brindleton. So we will definitely do that. Um, do we have, we do, wait, this is our Windenburg butler. What is he doing here? What in the world? Friendly introduction. We should probably introduce ourselves to him. They just like alternate butlers, I guess. That's interesting. Okay, so where is our dog? They're supposed to bring them here. We should probably also fix this because it looks like Prince James is just crying about it. Oh, he's so sad. Oh yeah, so this is Prince James. You didn't, I don't know if you got like a good look at him. So he is just really sad right now. I mean, there's really no surprises with the way that they look just because Prince Jared and Princess Nina, or oh, not Prince Jared. Oh gosh, King Jared and Queen Nina, they look pretty similar. Uh, so there wasn't too much of a surprise with that. It looks like both boys got their mother's hair though. Cause I think King Jared's hair is a little bit darker. So where is our dogs? Um, did they say like they'll be here in the morning? Uh, I didn't, it didn't, it didn't say. I did click to adopt the dog, right? Like I'm not just imagining that. Wait, who is this? Oh, adoption agent. Oh, okay, good. Adoption agent. So, oh, he's evaluating us. Ooh, okay. Should we introduce ourselves? Probably. Of course the dog is going to be fine here. They live in a freaking palace. Like, the dog will be okay. Oh, look at the dog! Oh my gosh, she's so cute, guys! Oh my god. Wait, where'd she go? No, I love her! I love her. Where'd she go? Wait, she just disappeared. She was so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do not play with the pets enough. This is just, I'm so excited. Oh my God, you're leaving your adoption out of, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> your adoption evaluation appointment is ending. Okay. Did we get, did we get the dog? Wait. Wait. Where's our dog? <gasps> did, is it because we didn't interact with it while it was here? Is it because I didn't have any pet supply stuff here? Oh, shoot. Wait. No. Guys, I'm actually worried that we didn't get the dog. I don't know where it is. It's been like like 12 hours almost since the, the guy was here, the adoption agent. What? Is it because we didn't interact with it? Do I have to ask for another one? I'm so confused. What is going on? Okay, well, they're back from work, and I guess we're going to try to adopt another dog now. Uh, and then as soon as we choose one, I'm definitely going to put out some pet supplies and then watch for when it gets here, because then we need to, like, interact with it, I guess. But I feel like they should tell you that, like, you're not suitable to have a pet or something like that. Like, I feel like they wouldn't just say, like, 
your adoption evaluation has ended and not tell you what the consensus is. I don't know. This is strange. I'm so confused. Okay. So Cinnamon is an adult. No, puppy. Okay, good. She's still a puppy and she's on there. Do we have any new dogs? It doesn't look like we do. They look all the same. A doodle? Oh, oh no. That's, oh, that's the name of the dog. Okay. I was like, oh, that's so cute. All right. We're going to try for Cinnamon again. Um, and I'm going to get some pet stuff right away because I want the dog. So we want, we have a small dog, so we'll get a small bed. Uh, so we'll probably get uh, red just because that is our castle colors. Uh, we want a refillable bowl. What's the difference? Feeding your loved ones. Yeah, right? Put on a little pet feeder. That's a, what? Is it because it's red? That's weird. Okay. Uh, let's put this one in the kitchen. Oh, it's going to be like the only red thing in the kitchen. All right, let's make it yellow then. So then it'll, it'll fit a little better. Where do we put it? Wait, there's like no room. Uh, okay. We definitely don't need this or that random potted plant there. So we're going to put it there. Um, and then we want, uh, let's see, we want a toy box. So let's get, there's like none that really go with our, um, like our, our, it doesn't really fit with the castle at all. Uh, should I put it outside? I want to put it outside. What about this? Mr. Issy's chest of wonders. All right. I'm just trying to find something that like goes with the house. And I feel like this one does. So we'll put that there. Um, I think that's good for now. I don't think we need much else at the moment. Uh, we'll add like maybe when the dog gets older, we'll add some agility stuff, but like it's a puppy right now. So it's not even going to be able to use it. So we'll just go with that for now. Um, and then we got to look out for the adoption. Okay. There's the adoption agent. Okay. Uh, puppy friendly introduction. I guess. Oh, I was supposed to pick to adopt it. Oh my gosh. That makes so much more sense. Oh, wow. I always feel so like dumb after I do this kind of stuff. All right. Cinnamon. Oh, you're adorable. Oh, talk to praise. I love her. I love her pet. Uh, offer friendship. I'm just doing all of this stuff. I want King Jared to come see the puppy too. Oh my gosh, she's dancing right now apparently. All right, who is calling Queen Nina? Hey, my neighbor claims that, uh, oh, we're not gonna go right now. We're too busy getting a dog. Okay, so King Jared is on his way down. I think this is the dog for us. She is so, so cute. I'm, I'm so obsessed. Okay, we're going... Oh, Prince Adrian is called. All right. Well, we'll talk to Prince Adrian and then we'll have Queen Nina adopt the baby. Oh, she's so cute. I'm so excited. I love puppies, guys. They're so cute. She's so small. She's so cute. Okay. She is ours, I believe. Even though it took me like half this video just to figure out why we didn't have her. Queen Nina it just became friends with Cinnamon. Yes, we want to adopt her. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, Brindleton. And I like the name Cinnamon. I think we're going to keep that. Um, if you guys want to give suggestions for future pet names, because I think we're probably going to adopt more than one pet with them, um, then you totally can. I'm thinking like I want a Husky and a Corgi. Um, so if we find them when we adopt, I know you can like also make pets, but I just, I want to adopt. Um, okay. So you have adopted her to our household. Prince Adrian has spread some juicy gossip about Princess Cora. <gasps> oh, yikes. I wonder what she did. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so cute. <gasps> she is so Oh, look how small she is. Oh my God. I got to see her face. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I'm so happy we adopted a dog. 
I think I'm actually going to end this video here. Um, we've just done some little random stuff in this episode. So in the next episode, most likely going to be a huge Royal CC haul. Um, definitely gonna try some mods out too. So I'll see if there's anything relevant to like a Royal theme. If you guys have any suggestions and know of something, definitely let me know instead of just like typical gameplay ones. Of course, I'm gonna try those too though. Yeah, I'm so excited we got a dog and I'm excited that Princess Lindsay is pregnant again. Um, and we're gonna be having a third baby in that household. So this will definitely be fun. Also, Prince Francis of Oasis Springs should be aging up into a toddler soon. I'll see how much longer we have for the other kids. Um, I definitely wanna focus back on like the Winden Windenburg royal family soon too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on your notifications, and we will see you guys the next episode.